Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Ange and I'm here tonight to do side hustle and savings challenges for March week number three. So I'm just going to jump right in. I'm going to start off with our side hustle and yay, we do have some. We did a couple deliveries last week and we got $43.47 so we'll be stuffing $43. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, and 3. And um, it's not much, but it's something, and I'm happy. I haven't gotten any this week, and with this snowstorm, I don't know that I will. But I should have a YouTube check next week, so I should have something. We'll see. All right, taxes is getting 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now in taxes, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, A3, and 84. All right, Christmas is getting five. We are just slowly adding Christmas up each week that we have side hustle, and this has money left in it from last year. So 100 in the high yield, 200, 300, 310, 320, 1, 2, and 3. Not bad for March. All right, and then baseball slash activities is getting five. We're just trying to keep a momentum going here for these sports payments and activity payments. So we have one, 200 in the high yield, three, 400, 500. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 600, 610, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 615 here, and this is just for my side hustle money. So that's almost one month's payment. That's pretty cool. Skipping Jake and Carson this week. CD ladder is getting 10. This is for our April CD ladder, which is the last ladder we need to open. And then going forward after that, we will be adding money into the ones we already established last year. So right now we're at $25. Um, you, you can pretty much open it for any amount, so that's nice. Okay, and then our $500 savings challenge, we're getting so close on it, so close. Okay, so tonight we're gonna do a 10. So now we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 420, 430, 440, 450, 460. 470, 475, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85. So $15 and we will be done. So next week when I get that YouTube check, we will finish this up and we will start a new one because I like having a little challenge in there. And honestly, this challenge has really motivated me the last couple weeks because I just want to get it done and have this money to use towards something else. Um, so I'm excited about that. So we should finish this one next week. Um, savings is getting skipped this week. Vacation is getting the last five and we never have enough in vacation. So I always try to put a little bit towards vacation. So here we go. We have 100 in the high yield, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 295. So this one should go over 300 next week, which will be great. And I didn't put any in Ange budget and debt, but I don't really have a giveaway until I hit 2000. So that should be okay. I have a ways to go. But thank you to everybody that has subscribed. I do appreciate you. All right, we are gonna do our savings challenges now. I don't have a ton of money. This is a single paycheck week. So we have $150. So let's count. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, hopefully you guys can see. Okay, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I don't even know what I counted. Sorry, my phone threw me off. 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One fifty. All right, we are going to start here. We start with our likes, and we have 
uh, 84 likes and we're putting in $21. So thank you guys for that. And I just realized I don't have my, there we go. We're starting a new row. So we've had 21. This is the third time we've had 21. Let's see if this week we can like, 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 like it to a higher number. I would appreciate it. And so now let's see what we have in here total. 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. 124, not bad. I'm gonna put those tens in and take a 20. I think the change will come in handy later on. And it just keeps this little envelope a little bit more condensed. All right, now we're going back to our Liz and Less envelope. I don't have a Liz and Less sticker. Liz, if you're watching, hint, hint. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna do the $9 kitten, since we don't have as much money this week, and then we'll just have one more to finish next week, and then we will be done with this one, and I have some new challenges for us to start. All right, and then we're also gonna do one piece of toast on the Liz and Less toast sheet as we get closer to getting this finished. So we're gonna put $14 in the Liz and Less um, envelope, and I put a dollar in, so now we're gonna take 15, and then we gotta color our toast. All right, so that, oh, did I count? 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 110, 120, 130, 140, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 144. All right, now we have change. That's good. Now I just got to color my toast. I'm just sticking with the same color. There's many varieties of toast out there, and I like most of them. I do love me some toast. All right, so we're making progress on this one. That's awesome. All right, and then next we have our winter challenge that I just want to finish. I'm sick of winter. We've had so much snow this year. All right, this only has $20 ones left, so I'm just going to do the hat here for 20 This is another one I really am motivated to finish, so we're going to just put enough each week. Until we can get it finished. <laughs> Excuse me, all of a sudden I'm choking on my words. Alright, so now in this one we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92. 210 so we have 20 and 20 left so by the end of march we should finish this one yay i'm so excited to finish that one that's going to be a good chunk of money to stop all right and this is my snow gardener 307 challenge and we finished the front already and now we're doing the back and i have the hats and mittens and clouds are five and then the snowmen are 10 and tonight we're doing five So we'll do our last cloud. I'm gonna color this cloud because it faded. There we go. And then I need yellow. This one probably should have been worth more than five, but that's what I did, so that's fine. We're still having a nice amount in here. All right, so now in this one we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. And I would like to get this done so I can start the spring one because this is the winter one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So hopefully one of these weeks we can do extra. Get that one done. All right, now we have our sloth. This is from um, Lindsay over at Boy Mom Loves to Save and it was sent to me by Busy Lizzie, my friend Busy Lizzie. All right, so let's get to the sloth. There it is. Okay, and we'll just grab one of our tools. We have a couple of them. And we're just gonna do one tonight because we don't have much money at all. Okay, $8, that's not bad. 
I love this one, and I, but I don't want to finish it because I love it so much, if that makes sense. All right, so $8. I'm going to put in two and take a 10. So now in this one, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So that's growing well. All right, and then we have our taco, which is right in here as well. This is from Life with Bobby. This will be $100 when we finish it. All right, we're going to do this one, which is $3. And honestly, I'm just going to stop there tonight. I usually try to do about $5, but I don't know if we'll get through all the challenges already, so I'm just going to do the $3 on this one for now. So, one, two, and three. So now in taco we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So that's good. We have $20 to go on this one. All right, and then next we have our friend Rocks. If I can find her. Of course, the very end. Okay. And we just roll a dice for rocks. I would love to finish this row, but unless I get low ones, I'm not going to be able to. So here we go. Oh, well, okay. All right. So $6. I just don't have enough this week to do another roll, but that's okay. Next week we can finish that row. Six dollars is a good good amount. When we finish this, it's gonna be a lot. Look how many rows I still have left to do. It's gonna be awesome. All right, so this is from Rock's Budgets. Please go check her out. 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. So after two rows, we're, I mean, not even two full rows, we have 66, that's awesome. All right, Mega Money Mall, I am gonna spin just because I'm really trying to build up my cash up. So here we go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Ten dollars or two dollars for Katie's cleaning service. So Katie of the house, her channel was originally a cleaning channel, and then she switched over to budgeting and she's not looked back. She's doing so well. Okay, here we go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. That's thirty dollars or six dollars. So I'm gonna do the six. I probably should have just done one spin on this, but oh well. I just really want to try to hit that dividends goal this month, this year. And so I need to get more money in there to earn more money. It takes money to make money in that area. So let's see what we have here. All right, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, that's a start. We're getting there. All right, now we have our $1 challenge, and I'm just going to do $1. Actually, you know what? I'm going to wait on that one in case we end up with a dollar. Next, we have our Dizzy Budgets, and this one has potential to be high. So let's go ahead and get this one done. We just have been scratching an order lately, so let's do that again. Oh, good. $5. It's a good night for $5. I'll take it. Okay, $5 for Dizzy Budgets. And we, um, it'll be 500 when we finish, and we designated this to the sports fund, so that's probably good. That one can always use money. I did an extra one last week when I had extra money. Okay, there we go. So now we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 273. We have passed the halfway point. Yay. All right. As we finish this, we will, um, that'll be exciting. 500 bucks is a lot. All right, we're going to go to our next. Actually, we're going to do, I lied, we're going to do the box, which is from Mandy's Budgeting Journey or Mandy's Budgeting Items on Etsy. Now it's here, I saw it. There it is. Okay, and we're going to do um, $5 towards it tonight. So let's see what we want to do there. 
we just want to do a five or do we want to do a couple of envelopes? Let's do a three, which is yellow. And let's see, I'm just going to do the first one I see. So three, and then we're going to do a two. So we'll do two envelopes tonight. I was hoping to do more, but hopefully we'll have some more money in the next video. All right, so three and two. Looks like we're starting the purpley envelopes now. One, two, three, one, two. So that was perfect. I don't know what this challenge ends up being, but it's it just makes it feel like you can make good progress even though they're not big numbers. And honestly, at 100 envelopes, the smallest being a, a dollar and the highest being six, it's still gonna add up. It's gonna be a nightmare to count all these ones, but it doesn't make it less fun. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to do our Save With Test book. I got this from doing the um, Let's Make a Deal contest with her. Okay, so we're going to just scratch one. Oh, I got to pull it out. I just scratched the plastic like a dummy. Okay, here we go. $3. I think that's perfect for tonight. Like I said, I'll try to do more on these when I have more money. Like the two paycheck weeks because it's just easier. All right, so $3, I'm gonna put two in and take, actually I can put the seven in and take a 10 just to keep it kind of condensed here in this envelope. All right, that was awesome. So $3 to my, my girl, Save With Tess. I was her first subscriber. Yay! Okay. What else do we have in here? Do I have anything else in here before I put it away? Because I keep putting it away and then grabbing it back. Oh, I do. I have a save with Judy. That's it though, right? Okay, let's just do that. We're going to do $5 tonight and we are working on the shamrock. So $5. this one so five dollars is a great amount for tonight we probably could have even skipped it and we still would have been on track but now it's done now I'm done with that and I don't have to pull it back out let me just find the five the Judy binder oh here it is not binder envelope and we're gonna add five dollars tonight so now it has 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70. We will end the year with $300 if we do it right. All right, that one's done. Now we're gonna go back to the front here. And we're gonna do this. This is from Budgets and Chaos, my friend Mari over there. And we're gonna do the six tonight just to keep it nice and low and we can hopefully hit more challenges. And then hopefully next week I can do a bigger one and we can kind of alternate and still get our goals accomplished here. I actually, if I could, I would like to do this twice this year, um, but we'll see. All right, so we're adding six. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, five, six, and seven. So just over a third of the way there. We really need to get these big numbers going, but it's turning out so cute. I love it. All right, and this is um, my Simply Living Saves. I call it my hot chocolate. And tonight we're gonna do, what I say? Some of them I predetermined just to see if I had enough money. Um, so we're gonna do the two fours because I'm trying to knock out all the big ones and then, it, then we should be able to like really finish strong when we just have the low ones left. So there's four. And there's four, and I think that's the last of the fours. Don't see any more fours, so that'll finish up the fours. So let's see, one, two, and we'll take two fives. And this will be 120 when we finish, which is still a great amount. And I just love all of her challenges. So go check her out if you haven't already, Simply Living Saves, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, one, and two. All right, we're doing well on this one. Maybe next week we can, there's a quite a few threes though. I don't know if we'll be able to do all the threes. All right, and then I have my Winter Wonderland from my friend Toya at Toya's Tenacious Life. 
And what I like about this one is it's low income amount. So um, they don't hurt as much. All right, we're gonna do one. Oh, and it's $1. Should we do another one or should we just take the win? Let me see how many challenges I have left before I decide. For sure we're doing the one. All right, we did that one. We have that one, that one, that one. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna do the one tonight and then maybe we'll do two next time. But I'm really not in a hurry because I love it. So keeping it around until we finish is just fine by me. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I don't know, it's a mystery amount, so I don't know what we'll end up with, but it's adding up well. All right, now we have this one from Mischief Managed Budgets, and that's Ren over there. And I'm just loving this one because it has such a cool, like, affirmation when you scratch it. I'm hoping to scratch the lower one. What do you guys think? This one or this one? Up or down, up or down, up or down. Up? Okay, you got it. Seven. That's not bad. And it says aspire to inspire. I love that. Aspire to inspire. That's awesome. All right. Seven dollars. And now we have a lot of fives in there. All right, let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. And I don't know what this is, so we'll see next week when we finish, but I am gonna buy a couple of ones from here. One, two, three, four, five, just in case we need them for the next challenge. And then it looks like we'll finish this one next week. I'm gonna guess we'll be around $100. And then I have these little cards for her to do too. So we'll go to that as the next challenge. All right, now I'm doing this Hungry Hungry Hippo one. I, oh, it's called Feed the Hippos. I'm probably trademarking it and getting in trouble, sorry. And this is from um, Simply Living Saves as well. I got several of her challenges. I just love them so much. All right, let's scratch this one and see what it is. One dollar. All right, so I have two more challenges. Oh yeah, we can do another one. And three dollars, so four dollars total. All right, we're gonna stop at four just because, so there's eight dollars. March is a month where we tend to have a little bit more money. So um, I'm hoping we can get through some of these before the end of the month. This is a new one I got from Budget with Carly. Um, I just did the print off and then I laminated it and we're gonna start it tonight. So we're gonna put $5 in here. I did not wanna use red though. I think I'll use this color. <laughs> If you guys haven't checked Budget with Carly out, please do. She's awesome. I have some more stuff coming from her any day. So I'm excited about that. So we're going to do $5 there. Okay. And it'll be 110 when we finish. And now I have this one from D Plans and Budgets. And I've just been rolling the dice. For this one and um we need to do two each no this is three four five okay so we can do this one this week uh well we can do two since we got a one we've had all ones and sixes so far. oh we broke it up so five dollars back to our five dollar one okay so now in this one we have five ten fifteen twenty twenty five and we have two more boxes left till we finish that and then this is the April one. She put out a whole year's worth, so I'm excited for that. All right, we have some money left. Let's see what we want to do. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. I kind of, let's see. Let's do this one. We're so close to finishing it. Let's, let's 
I mean, we're doing pretty good on the finished challenges already for March, but this will finish it. Oh, $5. I guessed it. Okay, $100. All right, so it says conquer from within. I also love that. All right, so now we should have $100 in here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 dollars. And this will get put in the um, finished challenges slot envelope. And this thing might be packed by the end of the month. That will be exciting to see what we have in here. I don't even remember what I've put in there already. Okay, so that's that. And then we have, let me just write that down so I know. Oh, I didn't write half of these down. Um, I thought we had another one in here we were going to do, but now I'm not seeing it. So maybe I didn't put it in here. Let me look at this one. Maybe I skipped one. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, I gotta do that one. Okay, I wrote it down, but I didn't put it in here. So, okay. We're gonna put $1 in here, just because we hadn't put any yet. And this is from the Thrifty Sewist. And we're just slowly putting $1 in, or $3 in, or whatever is good. So now we have 20 21, 22, 23, and when we finish, we'll have $66 in here, which is pretty good just for saving $1 at a time. All right, so I think we have five left. One, two, three, four, five, okay. So we don't have enough for a kitten. We don't have enough for that. We can we can do one of these though and, and get closer to being done. Let's do, let's do a hat. One, two, three, four, five, and we didn't have an IOU, so that's awesome as well. All right, so now in this, we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, and we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, we have $50 left, and then we will be done with this, and we can move to the springtime one. So $40, huh? And, or $50. All right, guys, that's it. Looks like we did well on all of our challenges tonight. I'm excited we did hit all of them. Wasn't sure that was gonna happen. And then hopefully next week we have a little bit more money so that we can, um, well, I finished the one. I gotta circle that because I did not. So we put 12 in that one and we finished at 100. That's awesome. And then D we put six and this one we put four and this one we put three. I didn't put that one in. Our camper we put five and then we put one in the one dollar challenge. All right guys, we did well tonight. I'm pretty happy with our uh, progress and by the end of March, who knows, maybe we can finish one or two more and really fill up that binder. All right, I hope you guys are all doing well. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.